people, how are we doing today? It is a big, big game. It's probably our biggest game this year in 2023 and our biggest game of the season, especially at home in that as well. Crystal Palace versus Leicester City today. Oh, it is a relegation cruncher. You know, it is worth three points above the relegation zone. Um, yeah, listen, it is quite, quite tight down there. You know, it's going to be one of the most intense relegation battles in the well, in Premier League history, to be precisely honest with you. You know, Leicester City are currently sitting 17th, one point above the relegation zone, so it's a massive game for them as much as it is going to be for us and that today and that as well. But listen, Selhurst Park, I think, is going to be rocking. I think the fans really, really got to get behind Roy and the players. It's so important. They really got to do that. And then it's up for the players to show up. It's up for the players to play well and get that all that all important win today. You know, they've got to be tough. They've got to man up. They've got to be strong. And they've got to get through 90 minutes of football. We really have... This is a big, big game, man. This is a massive opportunity for us to get three points for the first time this year and for the first time in three months and the first time obviously since 2022 when we beat Bournemouth and our last win in all competitions you know it's been a treacherous period being a Palace fan but it feels like a new season it feels like a new dawn you know just before kickoff of this match and that as well so yeah I'm really really excited I hope we don't screw it up I hope we win it's really going to be tight you know so this is going to be the most intensest relegation battle you're ever going to know in premier league history it's going to go right to the mire i guarantee you that hopefully we're not involved um <laughs> by then hopefully we're a few points clear relegation because we've got a decent run leicester at home today leads away next week southampton away the following weekend everton at home you name it Wolves, west ham plenty of more decent fixtures coming our way so come on you palace man there's going to be a scarf display at Selhurst the fans in the atmosphere obviously at Selhurst Park are going to be rocking we got to shop the players got to shop the fans got to shop and let's flip and do this man let's get three points for the first time it god knows how long man come on you eagles <laughs>
winning this, I don't know. At least every little shot deflected narrowly wide. Might have been a humble, but I'm not sure. Uh-uh. No, it's not. Trips Look at It's a hard going off, groin injury, looks bad. He might be out for the rest of the season. It could be his last game for the club. You know, two minutes added on. Oh man. The yeah, eye just come on for Wilf. Oh, that's not good. Not, not, not the sub, but Shaha going off the way he did. Half time, brilliant first half performance. We should be winning. There's a hard going off, man. Oh, that's not good. I'm speechless right now. Half time. Give me that no, no. Really good first half, the best first half performance I've seen from us for some time. Just needs to go. I mean, it should be 2-0 up. Leicester had that chance when they hit the woodwork and that's it. But Zahar going off, devastating man. That might be his last game for us ever. So his contract expires of course at the end of the season. We've just got to keep it up, look at the positives right now. The scarf display went really well. You know, pleased about that. Something different, it's so us. Just need to keep the, keep playing the way we did in the first half. Leicester will come at us, literally. They will come and attack us literally quick. You know, from the get go of the second half. So, hopefully, we match them and just win a game of football and worry about the hard injury and whatever else afterwards. Come on, you Palace. Oh, Palace. Five minutes into the second half, Leicester bit starting off the better team. Yeah, our intensity has gone down. Richard, oh, on to him! They should be one though up, I ain't gotta lie, based on the way they started the second half. We, have, we, haven't, we haven't turned up at all. Getting dominated. All that hard work and all that good play in the first half for that, for nothing. And then we're one nil down, because Leicester start off there and we're just sitting deep. That's Pereira, just came on at half time and then just scores, don't he? So, oh, man. Run, say, when you're winning. Come on, whoever's taking this, man. Ah, oh, we've got to score this. Come on! Substitution of the ship is done decent. Music is on. Will he's coming on? Five minutes to go. That's out of time. Oh, well, we can push and win, man. I believe in us. Too far out. What? Saved it. Four minutes added on. Anything could happen. It's going to be tense. We've we got to win big time. We've got to win big time, man. But like they say, we can't win a game, make sure you don't lose it. But we just got to less than a player. Right ish now. Barely even currently on the pitch. Come on, man. Edgewald on Mateta, sorry Mateta, Mateta came on for Edgewald, Mateta headed it. it Looked like he was going wide, Mitchell whips it in and it goes out
yes, my people, just outside the main stand right now. Absolutely buzzing. What a performance. We absolutely deserve it, didn't we? Brilliant, brilliant work. Well, I don't, what, my can I what can I say? What can I say? Yeah. First half was absolutely, but we were nil nil. We should have been two, three in the lap. I mean, the best first half football we've had from Palace yeah, in definitely. their face from the get go. And Leicester were never in it. They came out second half, and I said to Tristan, we, I sent him a text, I said, we, they can't play any worse. Yeah. And then the Wilf injury really knocked the stuffing out of us. We yeah. came out second half, First 20 minutes. we were totally lost. Yeah, we were like it. totally deflated, and it's like, yeah. what team, what happened at half time? And then Leicester went 1 0 up, and I thought, here we go. Typical, you're on the top of a game, you don't score, yeah. they go 1 0 up, and it's like game over. Eze comes up with a dream of a free kick, which it's a bar, it's a goalkeeper, goes in, yeah. got our luck. Um, I must admit, I normally stayed to the end, but this one, when the four minutes were up, walked out. I walked out. You walked out, believe it or not. Well, that's why we won. I walked <laughs> out, and I got down to the, I got down to the yeah. thing, I heard Palace roar, yeah. and I thought, and I, I could, still, them see limbs, the, I could still see the pitch, I could still see it, and I turned yeah. around, and as I turned around, Mateta, I was like, did Mateta just, and then the whole Palace took off, yeah. and it was like, I couldn't believe it, yeah, it was like yeah, Mateta, definitely. and then, the ball put in the, the centre spot. They didn't even, as soon as they took the, the, the kick off, the game was over. You could not, have, at the last, very last kick yeah. of the game, we won the game 2 1. They thoroughly deserved it. Brilliant performance. We're going to play like that for the rest of the season in every game, yeah. and we'll, we'll be okay. But the players, we've now got to work out because I don't. I'm, I'm well, hoping we'll, I'm wrong. We'll deal, with, we'll deal with that in a few weeks. Yeah, time. but I mean, I, you know, with, with a Wilf injury, but yeah. you know, the players. Have, you know, have responded today and it's yeah. great and that's yeah. how we got to play and the fans were fantastic. Yeah, they're brilliant. Uh, absolutely superb. My voice is gone. Listen, my man in the match, realistically, I mean, I'll probably, probably give to Eze. He played superbly today. Yes, my people, back in the car. Oh, bad words. The scenes later on, man. That's what I love, you know. The atmosphere today was amazing. The scarf display, a few flags. Palace fans taking the mick out of the Leicester supporters. The limbs lay on at the last second of the game. That is what I want to see. Now, listen, I'll say this. It's not over the season yet. We've still got a long, long time to go, you know. Nine games. Got to win all of them. Got to not lose any of them, you know what I mean. Pick up as many points as we can. But that three points will be the difference with us potentially staying up. So, let's keep it up. The disappointing thing is, the one disappointing thing is Sahar's injury. It looked like a bad one. Is he going to be out for the rest of the season? I don't know yet. I'm not going to talk more about that because we're going to find out probably Monday, next week, Tuesday, whatever, when or how long he'll be out for or when he'll be back. But Roy Hodgson, tactically superb. The football was some of the best football that I've seen at Crystal Palace probably um, <laughs> since we beat Aston Villa 3-1 back in August. Dominant, you know. I think in the first 15 minutes... Um, when Leicester scored in the second half and that as well, we, we never showed up and it was just flat, no Zaha. And then Eze scores a brilliant free kick. Well, you thought he would have done, but it, it did go down as an own goal by the Leicester City goalkeeper. I can't really pronounce his name. I forgot his name, actually. And then Mateta coming on as a sub and scoring the winner late on. That's what you do, brother. Roy Hodgson looks like he's, he looks like he's getting the best out of players like Mateta, like Eze, you know. Edward pressing, superb. They play with passion, there was enthusiasm, there was determination, and there was spark up up front and that as well oh my god my voice is sort of gone i'm shattered i'm just like absolutely speechless well i was speechless now i sort of got my <laughs> got a bit of my speech back but i love this club man palace to our flipping die you know the rest of my people make sure to like share subscribe shout out to everyone who i spoke to today shout out to eagle eye tv i did a fan cam with them check it out on their channel and i will see you a lot for the live watch along against Leeds United next week. We're going to be doing that. Oh, and also it's going to be a preview most likely as well. So come on the Palace, man. Eagle!